Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next theorem. The left or right cosets of a subgroup H in a group G determined by an element A of the group G is coincide with H. This is the left cosets of a group G determined by an element A belong to the group G coincide with the subgroup H means this subgroup A this set AH is equal to the subgroup H of a group G F and only F the element A is an element of the element A determine the left cosets or right cosets of H in a group G is uh, belong to the subgroup H of a group G proof suppose that H is a subgroup of a group G then the set denoted by a h is a set contain the element x such that these elements x is determined as when we operate the element a to the fixed element a to each element h of the subgroup h of a group g this set is called the left cosets of h in a group g determined by an element a of the group g consider a is an element of the the element a which is an element of the group g is an element of the subgroup h of a group g then the set a h is the collection of all is the collection of all the elements is the collection of all the elements of h all the elements of h multiply by n by by a fixed element a of the group G this is a, a fixed element a belong to the group G but according to our above supposition this fixed element a is an element of the subgroup H of a group G since H is a subgroup of a group G therefore uh, uh, by uh, therefore each resultant element X is each resultant element x is uh, obtained when we operate the element a to each element h of the subgroup h of a group g is the element h uh, uh, the element uh, a is according to our above supposition the element a is an element of the subgroup h of a group g and uh, h is also a uh, h is each element of the subgroup h of a group g therefore according to the closure property when we afraid uh, a fixed element a of the subgroup h of a group g to each element of the subgroup of a group h uh, of a subgroup h of a group g then this resultant element must be an element of the subgroup h of a group g according to the closure property that is the element a h is equal to x is again an element of the subgroup h of a group g according to the closure property is the element x the element x is an element of a h of this set that is this element x is an element of the set denoted by a h that is the element x is an element of the left cosets of h uh, in a group G determined by an element A also this element X is an element of H therefore the the set A H is a subset of the set H now uh, for an element H belong to the subgroup H of a group G uh, the element H is equal to E where E is the identity element multiplied by H and as according to our above supposition the element a the element a is an element of the subgroup h of a group g therefore the there exists the inverse element a inverse of the element a in a subgroup h of a group g according to our above supposition that is we suppose that a is an element of the subgroup h of a group g then the in an h is a subgroup therefore the inverse of a is also an element of the subgroup h of a group g therefore when we operate the element a to its inverse gives an identity element multiplied by h which is also equal to a multiplied by a inverse h is the element a is an element of the subgroup h of a group g therefore the the inverse element a inverse is also an element of the subgroup h of a group g and when we operate the two element of the subgroup h of a group g 
the resultant element must be an element of the subgroup h of a group g and when we operate uh, the element a to an element of the subgroup h of a group g that this element is a subgroup is an element of the subgroup h of a group g and a is an element when we operate this element to this fix element of the subgroup of a group g this uh, element this resultant element is must be an element of the left cosets of the subgroup h of a group g according to the definition that is when we operate the element h when h1 is an element of the subgroup h of a group g and when we operate a fixed element a to the element h1 this element will be the element of the left cosets of h in a group g is this element is an element of the subgroup h of a group g and when we operate this resultant element to the element a this resultant element must be an element of the left cosets of the subgroup h of a group g and this element is denoted by h is according to our above equality that is the element h is an element of the set a h where the set a h is a left cosets of h in a group g determine is a left cosets of h in a group g is the element h belong to the set h where the set h is a subgroup of the group g such implies that the element h this element h is also an element of a h therefore the the, the the subgroup h with the set h is a subgroup uh, is a subset of the left cosets of the subgroup h of a group g determined by an element a thus is the according to this uh, uh, condition a h is a subset of h and according to this condition h is a subset of a h therefore by definition of uh, equality of two sets thus set the sub the h is equal to a h where h is a subgroup of the where h is a subgroup of the uh, group g and a h is a left cosets of uh, the subgroup h in a uh, group g determined by an element a of the so, of the group g conversely suppose that uh, h which where h is a subgroup of a group g is equal to a h where a h is the left cosets of the subgroup h in a group g determined by an element a let x be an element of the subgroup h then this element x must be an element of a h also because according to the according to the condition of equality and the element of a h is in the form of a h where h is an element of the subgroup h of a group g that is when we multiply an element of the subgroup h of a group g to a fixed element a this resultant element is an element of the set a h which is and h is an element of the subgroup h of a group g therefore the inverse of uh, the element h in a subgroup h of a group g is also an element of the subgroup h of a group g we operate the inverse element of h to both side of this equality we have x h inverse is equal to a h h inverse and when we operate the element h to its inverse gives an identity element e e of the subgroup h of a group g and of operate the identity element e to an element a which is equal to an element a that is the element a is equal to x a x the operation is equal to when we operate the element x of the subgroup h of a group g to a an element h inverse where h inverse is also an element of the subgroup h of a group g is these two element x and x inverse x and h 
and walls are the element of the subgroup H of a group G. Therefore, the operation of the element X and H in walls is again an element of the subgroup H of a group G by closure property. By closure property, and this element, this resultant element X H inverse is equal to an element A according to the above equality this implies that the element A is an element of the subgroup H of A group G which we have to prove